There are hundreds of keyboard shortcuts in VS Code which can increase your efficiency when working on your projects. Since there are way too many to memorize them all, I made a list of the essential shortcuts that you need to know when using VS Code. Before we start, all the keyboard shortcut bindings can be found by opening the command palette. And you can do this by typing Ctrl Shift P on your keyboard and then type keyboard shortcuts. So I'm going to enter Ctrl Shift P to open the command palette and I'm going to type in keyboard shortcuts and it's just this one over here, preferences, open keyboard shortcuts. I click on that and here are all the key bindings. So let's say I want to change um, the key binding for closing a window, then I can just click on this pen icon and I'll just enter the desired key combination for closing a window. And at the top here, you can search for any key binding that you want. So if I want to change um, something to do with the terminal, then I can find all the terminal related commands over here. The first shortcut will be related to editing code quickly. So over here, I have an empty list and I'm appending a bunch of images to this list. Let's say I want to change my variable name from death to dying. How would I do that quickly? Well, I could type, um, I could delete this and I could type dying for all of them, but that would take way too long. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down the mouse scroll button and I'm just going to drag it down. And as you can see, I have multiple cursors and here I can just backspace and change them all at once to dying. And if I want, I can do it to this, the same thing over here. So I just need to hold down the mouse scroll button and drag down and I can change this to dying as well. This method only works if the text is aligned vertically. But what if the text is not aligned vertically? Well, that's not a problem. To show you how to do this, I'm going to navigate to a different file. And the shortcut to do this is by hitting Ctrl and P on your keyboard. And here you can see all the files. So I'm going to navigate to top down shooter. And here I have a class called player. Now you don't need to worry about all of this um, information here. What we're going to do is we're going to just change the pause variable and we're going to rename it to position and you can see I have it appearing multiple times in my class. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight the pause variable and I'm going to hit Control D on my keyboard and as you can see I'm highlighting all the variables that say pause and I can easily rename this to position just like that. Now we know how to edit multiple lines of code in one go but let's say we have a scenario where we want to edit the pause variable to position but we don't want this other variable which has pause in it to change. So we just want to change the variables that have only pause, not vec underscore pause. How would we do that? Well, if we use control D, then we're just going to select all of the um, text that contains the word pause and that's not what we want. So what we're going to do is we're going to just hold Alt on our keyboard and we're going to click wherever we want to change the text. So I want to change it up there. I want to change it here, here. I don't want to change it here. So I'm not going to click there and I'm going to change it here as well. And I can just rename this to position. If you want to comment multiple lines in VS Code, then just hit Ctrl and forward slash on your keyboard. If I want to comment out all of these lines, instead of commenting them out individually by putting a hashtag in front of all of them, what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight all of this text and I'm going to hit Ctrl and forward slash and just like that we've commented out multiple lines. Another tip is when deleting lines of code, Instead of highlighting the whole line over here, you can see that it's quite long. What you could do is just click on the line number on the side and it will highlight the whole line for you. And you can highlight multiple lines by dragging the, your cursor up or down. And this is a lot quicker than highlighting the whole line. My final tip is to use Zen mode when you're coding. And to enable this, hit Ctrl and K on your keyboard, then let go of those buttons and press Z. And just like that, you've hidden all the UI elements. So all of this information here that you don't need to see. And it, this allows you to completely immerse yourself in your project. I know I've barely scratched the surface with the uh, shortcuts that you can use in VS Code. And I'd love to know if there are any keyboard shortcuts that you use often that I didn't mention. Thank you for watching and I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing and I'll see you in the next one.